here's 937 Ruth. This community has a loop around the exterior of the community and then another street here, right down the center, which leads out. This is a brick ranch with a three top shingle roof. Roof looks to be in good shape. It's got a fenced backyard. It is backed up to a lagoon. So we'll be able to see that. Let me go to the back. Three bedroom, two bath. Remodeled. You can see the lagoon in the neighbor's yard there. And then here's the fence, of course. Nicely manicured. You've got this nice long driveway. You can easily fit three to four cars here. Storm door and a covered front porch. Paved walkway. So a good sized porch, like a 10 by 10 about. And we've got this nice glass coming in the front. So we have a tiled entryway with this mosaic in the center, which is really nice. And then here we have formal dining, living, and bedrooms. So we'll just cut through here. So here's our dining. New floors in here. There's new carpet as well. We have a nice chair rail and then these arches. And we have these big 16 by 16 tiles, painted cabinets, and granite countertop. Matching stainless steel appliances. And they all look to be new. So this is really nice. We have real wood. And it's painted. And these are all new. Fifty-fifty sink. Overlooking the backyard. Lots of counter space. Dishwasher. This door here so if you wanted to you could put a little table here or an island in the center um, but you've got this double drive gate here so you could drive through to the backyard and then you have a shed and we've got the privacy fence on the side the, the taller six foot privacy fence on the side you can see where they were back here doing a repair on this fence see the trucks and then you have four foot here in the back with a green space and a lagoon so nobody directly behind you your neighbors are uh, good privacy between you can see the back of the home and the roof here shed spot for lawn equipment and then from the living room there's this deck built right off the living room that you'll see so we come back in here back in the kitchen ceilings. There's your wood burning fireplace. And you've got a nice mantle. It looks like you can run your cords up here if you wanted to put a TV here. Um, I saw a couple spots where the cords may come out. I don't know for sure. My guess is that if you put equipment here, you could run cable behind the wall to come out up here. 
if we go out to the back here, it's a pretty solid feeling deck. Looks like it was recently painted. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and just wrap around go to the bedrooms. So again, there's living room space. And we head down this hallway, we've got the same floors. We have bedroom one, good size room. It's the size of a lot of masters that I see. New carpet. There's no funny smells in here. If anything, I would say it smells vacant but nothing odd. Nice walk-in closet. Every bedroom has a walk-in closet. So there's not a coat closet that I saw or a linen closet that I saw. However, big walk-in closets in each room plus this really good size laundry room. So plenty of room here to put shelving here, an armoire, a piece of furniture, something to hold linens, easy, easy enough to do. This is a utility closet, so this has the interior portion of the HVAC. And if you wanted to, you could put a vacuum in here, you know, mops, whatever. Too easy. Hall bath, and this has 12 by 12 tiles that look real similar to what's throughout the home. You have a hard surface countertop here and painted cabinets. New faucets lighting, mirrors, shower tub combo. Bedroom two, again, I mean, very big rooms. These secondary bedrooms are probably the biggest I've seen in a while. Like you could put a king size bed in each of them easily. Walk-in closet. Not quite as big as the last bedroom, but still really good size. And then right across the hall is the master. So you do have closets, because this is the master closet separating these two rooms. And the master is even bigger than the other two, if you can believe it. I mean, it's just, these rooms are very good size. Master bath. This is the only bedroom with a ceiling fan. So the ceiling fan is located in the master and living room. Then we have the 12 by 12 tiles here, painted cabinets. And then we have um, hard surface countertops here with a knee space. So a nice space to put a stool or put laundry hampers. And you can sit down and get ready there. Shower tub combo. And then this is just looking out over the back. Everything feels real solid. The roof looked good. And as we cut out the front, this is the view out the front.